Hello everyone and welcome to On Wednesdays We Wear Pink Week 75. I'm going to start my Manny off with Cuticula's base coat here. This is in the scent Pop Fizz Clink. I received this in January's My Manny box and ever since then I have worn it for every manicure. I love this. The smell is amazing and I love that it has that little blush tint to it so that even if I don't feel like painting my nails, I can just apply this and my nails still look very pretty. I have decided to use this new to me brand. This is Paparazzi and the shade here is Spun Sugar. This color is gorgeous. I am a huge diehard fan for these milky pinks. I think they are absolutely gorgeous. First coat of this did apply pretty well. There is a little bit of patchiness and a little bit of unevenness, but nothing too drastic. This is a very nice polish formula wise, but the scent. This has a very strong polished scent to it. And now going in for the second coat of spun sugar here, it does bring it completely opaque. The scent on initial application of this polish does fade after the polish is dry. So that's a good thing. You don't have to deal with that scent for too long, but I just want you guys to be forewarned that these paparazzi polishes from, I believe I got it at Rite Aid. Um, yeah, they have pretty strong scent to begin with but it does not linger. It fades away as soon as the polish is dry. Recently I have been looking into the process of shrinking stamps. Now um, I'm gonna leave a link for Brave Diva Nails down below so you guys can go and check out her videos. She has excellent videos that show you exactly how to do this process. Um, she uses what she calls, um, I believe it's a marshmallow stamper head. I don't have one of those. The closest thing I have is this queen stamper and I'm just going to take the top off of it and use that one. Also I am going to be using the Crystals uh, Collection stamping plate from MoU London in plate one. So after I have applied the stamping polish, scraped it off the stamping plate here, I'm going to squeeze that stamper head as tight as I can and then pick the stamp up and then release the stamping head. You can see here how big of a difference this makes. Um, the original size of this was way too big, uh, not only too wide, but also too long for my nails. So shrink shrinking it <laughs> made it possible to fit on my nail. And now with Zoya's Caitlin, I am going to fill in the stamp. I did start off using my little tiny paintbrush here and soon discovered that that was gonna take quite a bit of time. So I switched to a fairly big dotting tool. Now I'm going to cover this design with a top coat here to create a decal. Once that decal is completely dry, I'm going to carefully remove it from the stamper head here with a pair of tweezers. Now I'm gonna apply a top coat here, then just wait until that gets a tiny bit tacky and apply that decal. Now doing a little bit of cleanup here, with a brush dipped in acetone will also help to melt this decal onto my nail. Now using that same MoU London Crystal Stamping Plate Collection plate here, I'm gonna go ahead and pick up this design. I think it's really pretty. I'm also gonna be using the reverse stamping method for this design. Um, the way that I'm doing this is just kind of randomly filling in the triangles here with Zoya's Caitlin. Yeah, it's, there's no rhyme or reason. I'm just picking them and coloring them in. Now 
And again, I am just waiting until this is a bit tacky to the touch and then applying it to my nail. Now I'm applying Wow It's Dry Top Coat to finish this mani off. And here is my final design. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I think it turned out really cute. Again, I'm gonna leave below the link for Brave Divas Nails YouTube page. You guys can go over there and check out the video that she did on uh, shrinking stamps. I think it's very cool, very informative, and I have practiced quite a bit. So it does take a little bit of practice to gain the right technique, but watch her video. She'll show you exactly what to do. Please leave any comments or suggestions below, and I will see you in the next one.